Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Free to Play Fish with none other than yours truly, your host, the Asian Avenger. Now, this is going to be the last monocolored deck before we move into the two color decks. So I'm, I've actually been really excited to play this deck because we, our mono white pool is actually pretty deep. So well, I'm excited to see how this goes. And of course, you know, we've got, you, you may be looking at the deck list here and you're probably like, like noticing some of these cards you haven't seen before on paper. That's because, well, some of these cards are arena exclusive, like a inspiring commander, angelic reward. And if you don't know, if you're not like familiar with how we do these videos, I'm going to play three matches uh, with this stock list, and then I'm going to go ahead and modify it. And then we're going to play the rest of the uh, set, like out of the seven matches. Uh, we play three with the stock list and then four with the modified list. And then after that, we'll see where the deck goes on that. Let's not waste any more time. Let's move to the games. Boy, am I excited to get back to some more magic. This week, or I mean, I, I kind of lost my voice from uh, TwitchCon. And so I'm trying to, you know, it feels good to have it kind of back. Kind of back. So either way, thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in for another episode. Let's see. Uh, I, I kind of want to keep this, right? That's a 2-3. Yeah, I'll keep this. It's not the worst hand. I think this is actually pretty powerful. Or, I mean, good enough for what we've got here, at least. All right, so it looks like we're playing up against some kind of, like, Soul Sisters or Life Gain uh, type of deck here. We're going to just try to go Oresco's uh, Swift Claw into a turn uh, three. Hopefully, we can draw enough lands to where we can actually play this, but, you know, no guarantee. All right. But if not, we can always just Knight's Pledge, and then this becomes a 5-3. As long as we don't get sealed away, that'll... It'll feel pretty bad if it gets sealed away, actually. Oh, boy. So this is definitely a life gain deck. Uh, no blockers. You got it, buddy. Man, we're just not good enough to draw more land. Why does every video we have always start with us getting mana screwed? I have no clue why that is, but <laughs> I feel like we're always getting mana screwed. <laughs> like, I don't know. Even, even with the two lander, like on the draw, come on. Come on, game. Come on. Wow. The game actually listened. Thank you. Why do I have a strong feeling that this is about to get exiled with a seal away, chat? Uh, not chat. I keep... I'm going to just start calling you Chad or, or YouTube. Still used to calling uh, everything chat. I, I've done that in a work meeting once, too. Like, accidentally called everybody chat. I was like, all right, chat. Le uh, meeting. How you doing, team? Wow, that's weird. Okay, target blocking or blocked creature. Man, that's annoying. I guess we lose this, right? Because that... Actually, no, that negates that. That negates that so we still live. Uh, we we're, were able to just... Yeah, I, I, I had to figure out if I wanted to make sure I wanted to use that then and there. I guess I do. I guess I do. Seems pretty good, right? Uh, should have attacked first But yeah, so with that being said I, I constantly mess that up it, It's it's just one of those things, you know when you're <laughs> like so so used to streaming all the time too <laughs> Alrighty, uh, let's see if we can get them to block that right like if they can block this that's great news for me if They don't want to block it. That's totally fine Wow cool. I mean, I, I don't mind that I, I'd like to draw some lands at a point here because once we draw some lands we can actually start doing some real dangerous things here. Nonetheless, though, I mean, this... So far, you know, it looks like we're doing okay. All right. I mean, even even with that, you know, they may get some tokens out of this. But, oh, come on. Where are my land? Game, please. May as well attack, right? I'm going to double block. Or, I mean, I don't even have to double block. I could just use my take vengeance on that. But I can block the tokens, which will be nice. The, the tokens will then gain them two life, though. Let's hope they don't have, like, Banalish Marshall or something ridiculous like that. That's fine. A-OK -okay with me. You got it, buddy. So we're going to block the tokens here. This way the tokens die and we can cleanly just get rid of that card, right? Since we're not drawing any lands anyways. All right. I... We'll test the... We'll see if they have the settle, right? At this point, I need the land. So you know what? Let's go. If you settle me, that'll that'll catch me up. It looks like our opponent uh, and I are on this mono white game plan. Now, personally, I'd like to move this deck towards a like more the uh, mono white aggressive deck. 
Now, I want to see if this trades with my Loxodon line breaker. Cool. So, they're trading a lot. I personally would not be doing that if I were them, because they've got some pretty powerful creatures, but... Oh, boy. So, like, we're just going to keep drawing this stuff, so... I guess everything they've got has Vigilance, right? Like, I can't really stop that right now. Uh, I mean, like, take, what is it? Take Vengeance wasn't going to stop this anyways. Oh, boy. At some point, we're going to draw some lands. Our opponent's going to really regret it. Till then. Oh, my Lord. That is a little depressing. All right. I mean, we have all the same cards. We have all the same cards. Oh, finally. Better late than never, I guess. So let's go ahead and do this now. Do they have another Conclave Tribunal for this? Please stop, opponent. <laughs> Please stop. What does this do? This Cast this spell only if a creature is attacking you. Create. Oh boy. Well hey, at least we have that. Now we can fly. Look, I, I don't know what's going on here with my mana base. I don't know how many lands this deck plays. Actually, I have a very good idea of how many lands this deck plays. It's just whether or not I'm going to draw that. Alright, so we're going to make that fly. Did we just click through our phases? Yes, we did. All right, that's fine. You know, I have that one issue where I but I click through the phases really quick because I'm like really impatient. <laughs> I'm like I'm like a five year old child behind the mouse, like yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can see me like clicking around the mouth, uh, the mouse, uh, the mouth. I mean, the map all the time. All right, buddy, what are we gonna do here? I'd rather play this. If they board clear us, it's gonna feel a little bad, but hey, that's what we were supposed to do last turn. It's fine. <laughs> It's fine. We're, uh, like, I mean, it seems like our opponent has the opposite issue of us, where they're only drawing lands, right? Oh, boy. Would you look at that. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. So all of our creatures have uh, Vigilance, so that's pretty dope. So that means as long as this attacks, that taps that down. They don't have Settle. We're going to just make them have it. I'm going to just swing with these. Uh, probably these two next turn. I mean, they haven't they haven't used it yet, right? So I don't know. Let, let, yeah, let, let's you know what? Let's get in there for lethal. All right, sweet. I don't know. Maybe they were baiting me. I didn't want to play. I didn't want to play into that. Starting off strong though, so I'm liking this. All right, so we're starting off one and zero, one and zero so far. Let's see if we can keep the mono white train going. I think like moving forward, I probably uh, like build this deck towards the mono white aggro list. That splashes maybe red for the is it heroic reinforcements or whatever the whatever the two white and a red that card oh boy you know I wanted lands let's greed let's greed we are gonna see if we draw any lands here we're gonna get a little greedy we're gonna see if we can draw a second land off that I mean we have two draw steps right there you go it wasn't even greedy. It was a planned thing. We were going to draw it, even though last game you watched me never draw a single land for like 100 turns. Luckily, we, we still got there, though. All right. Diagraph Ghoul going in for two. All right, opponent. Well played. Are they on the Graveyard Bash deck? Oh, boy. Look at that curve. Look at that curve we've got going on right now. So this is, this is probably going to die, right? Like... <laughs> Moment of craving, cast down. I mean, they just don't want us to have this. They're highlighting it. A fungal infection. That seems weird. Uh, I would have definitely been using that as a combat trick. Because now I can just block that, right? Like, that could have been used elsewhere. But now it seems like they... Oh, wow. They... That that's, that's a weird usage of removal spells, opponent. But you know what? <laughs> I'm not one to judge. You got it, buddy. <laughs> I can't stop that. I'm going to play this because this has got a, a, a thicker backside, so we can actually use this to block. Thick with like 100 Cs. All right, Daddy-o. see how this goes. Uh, what you got here? What you got here, buddy? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to block the token, actually. Believe it or not, I will block that token. Is our opponent just trying to like get some immediate damage through? I think that's what's going on here. Trying to get all that damage through, huh? All right, well, I'm gonna leave this, uh, leave this back to block because we can't be taking too much damage, because we know that. I mean, well, if they start playing, I don't know, a Lord effect or something like, if they, I mean, if this is the uh, 
the deck that I think it is, we have Death Baron, which I see right here. Oh boy, there's Death Baron. Um, you know, I am going to trade that. I am going to trade that. Because, like, that needs to go, right? Like, that that can't be there. I have to let this sit back and block. Because it's other zombies and skeletons they control. So I can block that and tactical advantage it and get rid of it. Because if I Luminous Bonds it, it'll still stay on the board. The question is whether or not they have a follow-up to this Death Baron. I wonder if this person's watched our video. <laughs> Alright, opponent. What are you going to do? Must be like Skullduggery or something like that, right? Is it Skullduggery? So, I mean, we still get to kill it, pretty much. We're still going to be able to kill it. It's just how bad do I want to kill it? Right? Because, like, you see, that becomes a 4-3. This becomes one of those. And then after that, like, what do we what do? We do? Oh, boy. Dude, our opponent is just aggressively flinging removal spells. I mean, it wouldn't matter to me if, like, you know, we had more lands, but it seems like we've kind of hit this, like, unfortunate, like, dry shit. Like, just, like, we're out of spells. We're out of lands. This kind of feels terrible, actually. Oh, boy. And they're, they're not going to attack with this, right? They're just going to leave this back for the time being because I don't see a reason for them to do that at all. I, I don't know also why they would use all those removal spells... Only to, only to get that back. Like, they could be doing so much more with that. Okay. So we blow that up, then what? Right? Like, they're never going to attack with that at all. I'm going to put that on that. I don't, I don't know what we're supposed to do here if we can't, like, draw any lands. Like, we ideally, I, I want to go take vengeance on something of theirs. I, this card specifically. This is just going to punch in for three and then kill us, right? At some point. They're sending that in. I will block. Okay, I won't block. What is going on here, opponent? Come on. Opponent! Just swing with the Death Baron so we can kill it. We're so far behind on lands too, so this feels really bad. If they play another Gravedigger, they get that back, right? That's a little annoying. I'm going to kill that off. I don't want them to have the ability to like, you know, like gain like to get another grave digger back with a grave digger and then get this loop going. So, at this point, I'll just take the damage for as long as I na I need to cuz I need to kill this, right? Like this has to go. Like this has to go. I I can't I can't let that keep sitting on the board. Like I don't know what I'm supposed to do about it either, right? A fungal infection. So that's enough to kill me, right? Swings out, that's enough to kill me for sure. That's unfortunate. Well, we're going to take our first loss here. Why would they not attack that? I need to get rid of that card. I'm not doing it so that this way I like I think this is going to live. I'm doing it because I... Okay. Can we survive this? No, right? Because they just swing in next turn. Like, I mean, we'll, we'll play it out. We'll play it out, right? Like, see, they, they've been very generous with how they've been attacking. But if I were them, I'd just swing out. Because that just wins them the game, right? Because I, I either have to block there or... Okay. This 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 one looks pretty over. Uh, they've got the, exactly what I thought they would, which is the Grave Digger loop. Uh, they've been holding back that Death Baron. We can't really beat that right now. It, it's We've been mana screwed for too long, so... All right, let's move on to the next game. All right, let's go, Soul Flex. Let's square up. Let's get into the arena. Let's battle. Let's sling spells. That last one was a little brutal. We, we just keep staying at like three lands forever. Five ever, if you would. And then on top of that, our opponent didn't like attack with their Death Baron ever. So good job, last opponent. You played that very well. You saw through my tricks. You saw through the lies of the Jedi. <laughs> let's do this. Oh, boy. Is this going to be mono blue? Oh, no, it's blue-green. It looks like it's merfolk. Oh, boy. That's an actual, like, I actually really do like that starter deck. The merfolk starter deck, just what? He needs a few, like, uncommons. It needs, like, the merfolk, the misbind, whatever, the merfolk lord and the merfolk, uh, like, well, I guess lord and then Kamena is pretty good, right? And then I think you're kind of done.
I guess River Sneak is also pretty good. All right, opponent. What you got for me? At least this trades with that, unless they have a Lord effect here, which is not good for us. Well, I guess this is going to get tapped down and not untap itself. Uh, right now, we're looking like we've got enough lands to play our four drops, so I can't complain too much. But I am concerned because we know this deck plays uh, Sleep. I can't remember if the stock list has the 2-3 that comes down and taps our team. But usually that's just enough to, to like kill us, right? Like that's the set, that's the turn they'd set up lethal and then destroy us with. So we really need to make sure that we are ahead on life or, or yeah, it's just ahead on life or we have some kind of removal spell or something to untap. And I think the only way we're going to get ahead on life is we played Leon and War Leader. We really need to get that down. Oh boy. Yeah, you got it, buddy. All right, so we're, we're drawing lands this game. That's good for us here. After, after this round, though, we're going to go ahead and modify our deck. I can't wait to take a look at all the, the nice cards we have in Mono White. I wonder what they're holding on to. It's probably like dive downs and stuff like that. I mean, the only thing they can spell pierce is this, and this costs like nothing, so. All right. So they, they've definitely got the go wide part going. <laughs> Doesn't the deck come with one Kamena? Oh boy. If the deck comes with one Kamena, we're about to get the people's elbow here. I am not trying. Oh, what is this? What is this? I mean, yeah, I'll block. Wait, what? What just happened? That can't be right. What just happened there? Oh boy. Alright, sure. I mean, I want to attack with this because that, that gives us two 1 1s, right? If they send, like, double blockers in front of this, that's great news for me. Interesting. That's a way to get rid of that card, isn't it? Yeah, let's get rid of that and gain some more life while we're at it. Alright, sweet. Then we're going to play this. So we should be good here. Thank you uh, for that block there. I, I don't think they... I guess they should block because they want to make it so that I don't go wide, too wide with these tokens here. These life linkers gaining us so much life back. I, I like it. I like it. So now, even if they have like a sleep or anything like that, we could. We're at a like a kind of a cushiony health, a nicely padded health here. I mean, three more lands and we get to play Big Z here. Those. Cre okay. Well, there's there's sleep. This is a free attack for them. They know we don't do anything on the the crack back here. But now we've got the Pegasus Courser. How are you going to block my Leon and War Leader? Even then, actually, it doesn't matter because Star Crown Stag is going to probably just tap these down. Oh, boy. All right, so we're going to block there. That goes without being said. We're going to tap this down. We're going to give, like, a token flying. I think I'll give a token flying or or uh, one of my Daybreak cor uh, my Not Daybreak Cornet, Daybreak uh, Chaplain. All right. I'm liking what I see so far. Uh, we do have to get rid of this card. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and make that one a thing. Sure, tap that down. Why not? So we have two more tokens going in. We just gained a ton of life back, actually. So they are staring down lethal here. If they get one more land, I guess they could have a river's rebuke. But the good old glub glub fishies here are not looking too strong right now. But don't let that fool you. This deck's very good. I cannot wait. Like, once we get to this deck, I'm going to craft, like, I, I want to craft, like, four of these. I think this is, like, probably the best deck, right? It's, like, the best deck you can be, like, grinding with in best of one. All right, so let's send, let's make that fly over. Let's tap that down. And then let's send those in. Doesn't matter here. It doesn't matter how you how you spin this. Like I'm I'm they're they're staring down lethal, so. Cause at least four is up in like what is that? That's four or five, that's five up in the air. We could have played a luminous bonds to really, really lock down the game, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't think we need to. Alrighty. Good game opponent. That puts us at two and one. Two and one. Let's go to some deck mods. All right. So now that we're at two and one, not not a bad start so far. 
it's been do it's been handling itself quite well. Uh, you know, we've had some cute little life gain uh, like bits and pieces here and there, so it's definitely helped a lot. Now, I personally want to build this deck as close as I can to probably the mono white aggro list. Also, history of Benalia. Don't mind if I do, Daddy O. I'll take that. Oh, we can mix and match our art with Luminous Bonds? Definitely we'll be doing that, too. Um, that's considering that we keep it in, of course. But I can't help but feel like that's got to be good. I told you that our, our, our like white pool is pretty deep, right? So, looking at all these cards, I'm definitely liking it. Uh, I, I don't, I, like, there we go. Heroic Reinforcements is what I was thinking of. Uh, the Mono White, get, like, going aggro plan does splash red for this. Uh, I do wish we had some of that one-drop land. Let's see here. I'll try to show you. The cards that we don't have here. Uh, well, we could. I'd love to have Dauntless Bodyguard. That's what it. That's one of the cards it would play. Uh, it also play. Here we go. Legion's Landing. That's a huge part of this too. But you know, of course, let's get let's get rid of the cards that we don't have. Let's not give ourselves a. Let's not lie to ourselves here and pretend like we own those cards. Let's see what we've got. So personally, I like this too. I don't see that we have enough like Knight of Graces. So that's pretty sweet though. This kind of makes it so our opponent's threats uh, like get tapped and has flying. Can't can't help but think like that's got to be better than locks it on line breaker, right? Like three two, not really that impressive. Jellic reward. <laughs> I think I've got better things than that. I'd, I'd, I'd even use like on Sarah's wings or something like that. Or what's it? Yeah, on Sarah's wings. For a moment, I was like, is that? Am I just naming a band? That sounds like a band, like a like a death metal band or something like that. <gasps> On Sarah's wings. But, uh, let's see. What else don't we want here? I mean, like, I like these... Okay, so Tactical Advantage has been very, very cute. Uh, I can't help but feel like Adamant Will might be something that we want. Um, a few of these aren't bad either, right? Gives us a little bit more low-to-the-ground, uh, like, cheaper threats that also gain us life. I've liked this because of how thick it is on the backside, so maybe we'll keep a few of those in. The Swift Claws died about, like, everything under the second sun, so I'd rather have a 2-2 flyer than a 3-1. Um, the Sun Home Stalwart does have First Strike and Mentor, so it can kind of pair well with a few of these cards. So we'll see how that goes. Really wish we had some Knights of Grace. Martyr of Dusk, I do like because Nar Martyr of Dusk, though, a 2-1 for 2, does leave something behind. It leaves something behind after it dies. Can't complain there. Uh, Take Vengeance is kind of like the hard removal that we've got. So we're going to just run with that, too. Shalai, obviously good for, you know, very obvious reasons. You know, I I would almost rather drop... what What's the two-drop enchantment? Knight's Pledge? does it? Because it doesn't make him a knight, right? At least dub. Then we can get, like, Sir Kinjali's Sunwing or something like that. Plus, you know, with Danatha in the deck now, that might that might make things a little bit easier on us. And I don't hate this for, like, just an Anthem effect to pump the whole team. Uh, you know, like, a, to surprise hit him with the finisher or something like that. Uh, Mentor of the Meek, obviously sweet here. And let me see, what else don't we want? What else do we want? We can get a lot with Militia Bugler, actually. I really like Militia Bugler. It it pretty much tutors for a decent amount of things in our deck, right? I don't know why I'd want that. Um, Herald of Faith. I mean, not really. I don't think I want to pay five mana to also just gain, uh, like, four life. I'd rather just play the thing with Convoke. Uh, this this card right here, not not the worst thing. It's kind of a bomb. Uh, you know, we, we've got a, we got a few sixes, we got a seven there. Zatalpa, I think, is looking to be our late game, so. If we could get, like, one Shalai, that'd make this a lot better. Alright, so anything else that I see here that we, we kind of don't need that we can just get rid of? Knightly Valor, interesting, but not interesting enough. Herald of Faith, I think we could drop a Sarah Angel for that. We do have a few, a few sixes here. Like, how many sixes do we have? Or we have five, six plus spells. Jeez, Louise, that's a that's a big amount. Um, Bugler kind of just gets everything else in our deck though, right? But it bottoms a good amount too, so maybe we shouldn't play too many of those. It is nice though. I, I wish it were a knight. If it were a knight, that'd be pretty sweet. Uh, Luminous bonds. Let's drop one of those. Mentor of the meek, still pretty sweet. 
Uh, Mentor of the Meek pairs well with all these other cards too. So what can we drop? What can we drop? We need one more thing to drop. I'd love to add uh, uh, black to this. Then we get use our Ariel. But do we even have enough to make that worthwhile? No, right? Like an Ariel. We don't have like the the Black Knight or whatever it is. We do have Grave Digger to get back some of our bombs. Yargle. Nah, not worth it. Let's just stay mono white. If we're going to splash another color, I'd love to splash red. Get a little more reach out of it. Um, What else can we play here? I think that's good. Like, I can drop one of those, maybe. And then play in, in place of that, like, another, like, a Hasda Marshall. Alright, let's try this. It's a little lower to the ground. Uh, we we drop on some of the fours. Like we have we have quite a bit of fours. I want to play as many ones as I can probably. Our twos, Martyr of Dusk once again leaving something behind. Let's call let's call this a day. Let's call this a day here. I think this is a little bit better. All right, we've got our modified deck. Let's see how much more like aggressive it can be, since it's a lot more low to the ground now, right? One, two, three, four, six. You know, we slightly miss on the five, but I wouldn't complain if I only drew lands from here, right? Because, I mean, let's see here. Keep this, because, like, on the next turn, right? Like, before, we would attack with these two together before we play anything else, so this doesn't get a pump. So this way, the Mentor can take effect on the Leon and Vanguard. Sure, we'll miss out on the life gain, but uh, I think I'll be fine if I do that. I just like to be on the play here, but being on the draw also means I get to draw a card. So I'll be the first to draw, which, by the way, I don't know how many of you do that. <laughs> when you lose, like, a die roll in Paper Magic or something, I'll usually go, uh, like, <laughs> they'll be like, all right, uh, I guess I won the die roll. I guess I go first, and I'll be like, cool, I'll be first to draw. Usually, <laughs> I like saying that, and also, <laughs> instead of high roll in, in, on paper, I'll usually go <laughs> closest to 13 and stuff like that, just to see how people's faces are. The, the, their reactions are great. Close to the 13? Nah, how about we just do high roll? <laughs> All right. So they're, they're doing their thing right now, and it feels kind of bad, but... Hey, maybe we'll be all right. Should attack once again before, but... What's, what's one green that could punish me right now? We're fine, we're fine, we're fine. YouTube, calm down. Hey, at least I called you YouTube and not chat, right? <laughs> Chad, if you will. Chad. Yeah, you know what? Why don't you draw a card on me? I, w I won't block by choice. Have a card on me. Just nice guy, Krim. Nice guy, Asian Avenger. Just helping the people out. Here you go, buddy. Have a card. No blocks. What do you got for me in your hand? Oh, boy. Would you like to uh, possibly stop playing cards at some point? That'd be pretty cool. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and go to attacks here. Sure, make them trade that, right? I mean, I don't want him to go too wide here. That's my concern. I mean, we're not blocking these, unfortunately. So we just kind of got to make do with that, right? I mean, right now, what can we do? We we hope we hope they don't have anything else. Just this is just a bunch of lands. Oh man, they are just really doing us in right now. This this is starting to hurt. I mean, it was already hurting. Oh, ho, ho, ho. oh boy. Where are my uh, take vengeances? I think I could use uh, like three of those. All right. All right. Can we race this? Can we race this? I mean... That draws us, wait, hold on, enters the battlefield, draws us two cards. May as well leave that back. Or, I mean, leave that back, see if we can pay two to draw two more cards off that. I don't hate that plan. I mean, these these two will definitely be attacking, right? Can we get there? With the, dude, these are some swole, miscloaked heralds. Like, these are getting real problematic. We're only getting two life at a time, so I think we still die the turn after, right? Oh, boy.
<laughs> we still die the turn after. Oh, no, no. Hold on. We get to mentor. We get to mentor. We're, we're, we're still sort of alive. Not the worst. Not the absolute worst. But, uh, you know. <laughs> oh, boy. We're alive at one. We're alive at one. We need to have them stop playing cards. Like, you need to stop playing cards, opponent. Like, right. Because these are unblockable. Either that or we need to draw Take Vengeance right now and hope that they also don't have anything. Jeez, Louise, chat. Duh. Chad. Oh, boy. All right. All right, opponent. You got me. That that was just disgusting. Uh, you know what? We'll, we'll, we'll let them play their game. We'll let them play their game. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and you know you know you know what why don't you go ahead and destroy me? Why don't you destroy me? Oh nice. That is that is gross, by the way. Everything that they're doing right now is gross. Good game, opponent. Oh, four four unblockable with curious obsession. Double Merfolk Mistbinder. Punish me for not interacting. Alright. Alright. Oh wow, look, our opponent's name is Dargan. I like the name. Alright, so let's let's see if we can wash that bit that taste of that bitter defeat. Out of our mouths. That was that was pretty rough, dude. We got destroyed. We got super destroyed. A little, little late, but you know what? Whatever. Oh, click the scorpion. Click the scorpion. I mean, we had the curve, too. We had the curve. You know what I mean? I was really excited to see how that play out. But, you know, of course, the one time we've had the curve, our opponent has, like, their bread and butter. So, you know. It looks like it's a, either a mono blue deck or, or something here. Something I, I don't like is about to happen. At least Kinjali Sunwing can come down and block these. Makes all their other creatures tap too, so that kind of gives us the little bit of the tempo that we need. Also, if you if you can get them to Kali Honor Guard or whatever in this deck at the two slot is gas. Why? Because this way, yeah. Oh boy, we're just like up against every Curious Obsession deck under the second sun, aren't we? I'm gonna get rid of that now. I feel like that's a good card for them. But yeah, like, Takali Honor Guard will help us shut down Golgari, the Golgari Menace, because it, it really is, it feels almost like a stony silence against them, you know what I mean? Because, like, you just shut down all their ETBs, and they have to use, like, Assassin's Trophy, uh, their Planeswalkers, Minuses, and Vraska's Contempt on it. I, I like it. I like it. Please don't counter this. Oh, man, we're about to get countered. Uh, I'm playing this first before we attack, so this way this can get the pump, but as it currently turns out, we're n there's no way this is resolving. So, never mind. Well, joke's on you, dude. Mr. Dargan. Joke's on you, because do you have another? And, I mean, do we draw a land first off? We gotta draw a land here. Just pass the turn, opponent. Just pass the turn. Okay, Warkite Marauder, a little unfortunate, but, you know, okay, I'll, I'll accept these terms. Land right now means we actually get to resolve our Leonin War Leader, which would be really nice. Like, I would really like to resolve this Leonin War Leader. Please deck, one time. Land? Man. It, it hurts sometimes, you know what I mean? It hurts. Like, emotionally. I just I just don't know how I'm supposed to handle it. Alright, so we gained some life back, at least. Let's send these in. Uh, we're gonna try to go wider than them. They Luckily, like, a lot of their deck kind of, like, trades with every single one of our creatures. Whoa! Whoa, they said no thank you, Leon and Vanguard. Man, that was the window, too. That was the window we were going to drop down with the Leon and War Leader and just win the game from there. Uh-oh. That is insanely problematic. That is so problematic. Oh, my chickens. That is unbelievably problematic. Dude, like, what am I supposed to do about that? Also, I like this opponent. I like this because, you know, I played this deck myself, so I respect you, opponent. I like it. It kind of plays the mono blue game plan, but it adds uh, black. So then it plays Thief of Sanity. It drops wizards for pirates. It's a lot of cool stuff here. Uh, you know, maybe maybe I can draw a fourth land. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't think I'm asking for too much, right? Like, maybe, maybe I'm being ridiculous. Who knows? Joke's on you, though. I know most of my cards, like, they, they're probably, like, thinking, like, man, what can we hold out for? Probably, like, an Ajani or something like that. No, I got none of that for you, buddy. Oh, boy. Hey, there goes a land that we needed. That's cool. They also chose to not grab our, uh, whatchamacallums. 
they chose not to grab the flyer. So what do they have in here? It's got to be something like ridiculous. Like Shalai. No, if it were Shalai, they would have played it. it. Must be something that's like six mana. Oh, the one thing that we've got that, uh, was well, getting countered. Like, if it didn't get countered, I'd be amazed. Like, in between there, pro they probably are playing Siren's Dispersal or whatever, Essence Scatter, sure. They have all the counter spells. We needed that one turn, right? Like, that one turn would have been exactly all we needed to just close out that game. Yep, there's a six drop from our opponent. So all their threats have Vigilance. This will be slightly annoying, but, you know, what are you going to do about it, right? I think we have Lethal if they don't block. Or, I mean, there's no way they wouldn't block right good news is that we can trade off we can kill off two of their uh things like if they decide to block with thief or not which i think they'd have to all right that is instant right <laughs> i should have probably looked at that before i attacked but yeah it's instant okay oh i thought maybe they'd get greedy maybe they get greedy and just not care, you know what I mean? Then we could do some big dollar do things, but turns out they uh, they did not get greedy. Maybe they're like, ah, you know what? We'll just let them. We'll just let them swing through, just with that th those two, so I can keep my one one. I guess they uh, weren't greedy enough. All right, opponent, what you got for me? Shall I? All right. Well, we're currently wider than they are. Still wider than they are. Not as wide as they are anymore. Okay. Uh, land means we draw this. I'm going to play this first because remember we get to uh, do some fancy business here. Boom. Gain two life, draw a card. Once this, if they block this, which I assume they will as it is two uh, attack power, it will then allow me to get another 1-1 one, one out on the board. So that would then let me draw another wonderful card. So they're taking one. They're down to one. Zatalpa. Big Z daddy. So they need to play. I don't know how they would stop this. I guess. No, they don't have any pirates. So they can't tap down my threats. And that's looking pretty game over for our opponent, right? I mean, yeah, they can punch us in the face, but. All right. Sweet. The low to the ground friends. All right. Not a bad, uh, not a bad run so far. Three and two. C C Caesar, Caesar of awesome. What up, dude? All right. So, three and two right now. Going into our sixth match of the day here. I'm excited. This is a disgustingly beautiful hand. Don't mind if I do, because I will gladly play this into Sun Home Stalwart, into History of Banalia. We're at three and two right now, so I really like how this is looking for us. <laughs> Daddy O. They're tapped out, so I don't I don't mind attacking after playing this. Or I mean playing this and then and then attacking. Oh boy. Well let's see what happens here. Opponent? Will you be blocking me today? Will you be trading with me today? No, you are not. So what does that mean for me? That means I'm going to play this. That's what that means. We're just going to go low to the ground here. and we're Or we're going to try to go wider than they are. Unfortunately, they do have some lifelink stuff. Like all their token producers. Like if they play the three mana sorcery right now. Poops out some tokens. That's problematic. A lot of things can be problematic here. Now, I do value my knights. But I'm not opposed to just blocking that. Alright. Let's go and do all of this now. Don't mind any of this either. Nice! <laughs> nice! Wow, that was so easy! <laughs> Alright! <laughs> Four and two, let's go! That was a very easy uh, round six there. I guess I guess they didn't want to deal with the curve there. We, we went pretty hard pretty quick. That was pretty gross. <laughs> Definitely a fan of that last game there. Alright. You know, so it's paying off having all these one drops. Even, even that... That mentor, that two mana two two knight. I mean, it's not knight of grace, but it does mentor our cheap little uh, early game threats. I wonder what they had in hand. They must have had like a bunch of clunky like four and five drop vampires. Uh, no, I can't cast it without playing the land first. 
just trying to cheat over here, just trying to just drop a creature without playing my land over here. All right, right here off the top, I'm going to draw that Mentor 2-2 two -two or a 2-drop. I'll settle for a 2-drop. Like, I'm okay with a 2-drop. Ideally, I'd like the one with Mentor. Merfolk again. There's no way, right? We don't, we, we don't risk it. We don't risk it. It's way too risky. Like, I could try to do it and then swing in and then see if they have anything, but you know what I mean? Like, I, I you know, I, I, I could have played chicken with them, see who backs down first. Maybe I should have. No blocks, my friend. No blocks. All right, so we're going up the, like, like the ladder here. I like it. Gain some life back. Don't mind if I do. Good news here is uh, now we've got a little bit of lifelink here. Our aura or auras and equipments will cost us one less. So let's see if we can end this at seven and two. Seven and two wood is an actual like run. Like, you know what I mean? Like it's an actual quick constructed run. I mean, I already know that I played the mono white aggro list and I really like that. That deck was strong. Probably have a dive down or something ridiculous, right? All right, let's see what you got for me, buddy. Come on, block here. Block here, dude. Block here. Oh. No blocks there? Lame. All right, so we're going to try to play this. Seems that our mana, our opponent is a little mana screwed, so we are going to pull ahead there. A uh, little unfortunate, because I think this deck... Oh, my gosh. Just the easiest seven. Like, like what is that? Like, it, this is, like, the easiest, like, six... What were we? So we were four and two. Then we were at five and two now. So we're at five and two. I don't know where I got the seven win here, but five and two right now. Pretty great. Uh, I guess let's let's move. All right. So that was the tactical assault deck. Pretty much, uh, we what you saw there towards the end, we just lowered the curve. Uh, this was the stock list here. As you can see, this list plays a lot more like threes and beyond, right? You see some threes, some fours, a ton of fives, and a, a bunch of five pluses actually. We decided to change it to something like this, to where it'd be a little more aggressive, right? We've got Hazda Marshals, uh, Marty of Dusks because it leaves something behind. We played Leon and Vanguards. We added more one drops. Uh, you know that Sun Home Stalwart ended up having the Mentor, which like would like help grow our small little creatures. The tokens off Hazda Marshall. We did add one Benalia because we did get lucky and open a history of Benalia. And the Make a Stand was a, a, a kind of like just a way for us to like survive past a Ritual of Soot or anything like that. And you know, we added some better angels, and maybe maybe if we open a Lyra, then all of we could probably th like all of our angels that are in our deck right now get even better with a Lyra, right? So, uh, Militia Bugler, we haven't actually seen how good it is yet, but for the most part, from the way I'm looking at it, it fetches most of our deck, right? Um, maybe we can drop the Star Crown Stag uh, stuff like that, but the deck did a lot better with like more aggression. So I'm really happy with how this deck played out. But um, where I'd like to have this deck go is more so along the lines of the Boros Weenie deck that you've been seeing around online. It it plays the same, like, it plays the low to the ground game plan. It ditches all the 5 plus drops and all that stuff. Because what it tries to do here is it, it's, pre, like, primarily just mono white, right? You see all the mono white cards. You see the low to the ground Dauntless Bodyguard, like, the cheap Dauntless Bodyguards, Hunted Witness, uh, Sky Marcher, Aspirant. And, you know, Vanguard is also great, by the way against any like burn based or damage based removal so that card is just like a hoser against like blue red stuff like that of course unless they counter it or bounce it knight of grace helps against all the blue black or any black based deck which is really sweet because i also it, like it's hexproof from black just please remember that and it's not protection from black and of course history of banalia probably one of one one of the better mythics if you ever just follow up history of banalia with a history of banalia it's it's kind of game over from there uh banalish marshall kind of self-explanatory in that it just pumps your whole board and the whole reason why you're splashing red which is heroic reinforcements that kind of gives you that last bit of reach that that final push that you need you know what i mean because like maybe maybe they decide to do a weird attack thus leaving they're thinking they're safe and this is how you surprise them 
Kapow, kapow, straight to the face. There you go. Hit him with the heroic reinforcements. That's what I'm all about. And of course, I like the Legion's Landing because the Legion's Landing will oftentimes flip very early uh, unless they're playing like Golden Demise or Fiery Cannonade. Card's very good. And then at that point, you just flip and start like pooping out tons of little creatures. And of course, if you look at the sideboard here, you have the Baffling Ends for the aggro matchups. Remorseful Cleric to help exile graveyards. Maybe it's Golgari's like constant recursion, but... I don't even know if you really need it there. It's more so probably for like blue red Phoenix than anything else. Make a stand once again, just any kind of deck using like destroy effects and stuff like that, or or like fiery cannonades maybe. A Johnny, just something that you'd want to bring in against like uh, control mid range matchups, so you you can make your creatures bigger. Uh, they can you can play the long game. You can grind because almost everything can be brought back with a Johnny's minus. And as I mentioned earlier in the video, Takali Honor Guard. It's a 1-3 on turn 2 that comes down and it's just like, it shuts down a majority of Golgari. It, it, it even shuts down some other decks, like you can even like say like Goblin Chain Whirler out of Mono Red, uh, Viashino Pyromancers. So, it's not even that bad to have there. And of course, we have this card that I absolutely hate, but I think is actually decent. Uh, it, it's, it's very powerful. It's very powerful. Experimental Frenzy. Card is great. Uh, works very well in decks that are just constantly trying to, that are just playing a ton of cheap threats. And, you know, your fourth Conclave Tribunal is just another catch-all for any kind of problematic permanent. Other than that, though, let's move to the cards that I would highly recommend crafting. Uh, and also, thank you guys so much for staying the, into this section of the video. It was a lot of fun filming, so let's see if we can uh, help you get figuring out what you want to spend those wild cards on. All right, so in this section, I go in a little more detail because these are the cards that I would highly recommend that you craft. Uh, these will be the backbone of like the deck that you're trying to build. There, there may be some other like you know replacements, but I think these cards serve a very specific purpose that can't be replaced. So, example, Adanto Vanguard is going to be one of those cards that I highly recommend you spend your uncommon wild cards because there's so much. There's like shock. There's Lightning Strike, there's La like even Lava Coil. Sure, all those cards right now. There's a lot of burn-based uh, removal, right? And also, this is just a good card to have in combat because sometimes you'll be able to just keep swinging and swinging and swinging if you have multiple of these. And you'll just pay for life, but you'll probably win that race because you can pay for life to give this indestructible. Just don't forget that it has that ability. I've seen a lot of people let that ability slip their minds. They don't pay the four life before like a board wipe happens, so they lose their Adanto Vanguard. But yeah, this survives past any kind of destroy board wipe. Any, like I mean, it kind of just pretty much forces the deck to either be playing Moment of Craving, some kind of like you know any kind of exile effect, or maybe a Tuck effect from Teferi. And of course, as long as it's attacking, it gets plus two plus zero. That's three like that's a three one indestructible potential indestructible on like you know for two mana. This card's insane. Of course, there's also Knight of Grace, the two mana two two that is first strike. First strike, hexproof from black, gets plus one plus zero as long as any like player controls a black permanent. Doesn't matter if you do, your if your opponent does, that means it immediately becomes a three two. This card is so problematic for so, like all the black base decks. It's very, very good at that. Uh, at staying alive and it pairs very well into your history of banalias right because then this gets more powerful with banalia it's just another night turn two this turn three history you could it, it's self-explanatory cards very good on its own usually eats the shock but you know very powerful card and if they don't have the shock this can usually run wild pretty quickly banalish marshall i mean if i were to craft a rare in the deck it's i mean it's got to be this right like we don't even have to go white red if you just wanted to stay mono white this card and all the, the all these cards that we're recommending right now can just make it so you stay in mono white. Really, you're only splashing the red for heroic reinforcements. So, but yeah, like this huge payoff, like all the mono color, like the triple mono color, whatever the like dark, not dark dwellers, uh, goblin chain whirler, steel leaf champions, all the mono color cards from Dominari have been very powerful in their own like mono color decks, and this is, you know, insane. It pumps. All your creatures, right? Except except for itself. So it's other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. So an anthem effect for everything. It doesn't matter what type they are. As long as they're on your board and they're a creature, it gets plus one, plus one. Self-explanatory, very good. Usually you can, like, chip away at people enough times to where you're hitting them with a bunch of, like, small, like, one ones and two twos and stuff like that to a point where, all right, well, cool. So they're going to hold up. They're going to hold up some some kind of, like, maybe removal spell or something and for one of your creatures. And you can drop this, and it pumps the whole team, so then it makes them have to play a little differently. Card's insanely powerful. Probably the best rare you can craft out of a mono-white weenie or maybe a Boros weenie's deck. And lastly, 
one like an insanely powerful mythic, right? Like, I mean, this is just a, it's a three mana on the the first chapter you get a two two knight with vigilance. The second chapter you get a two two knight with vigilance. Third chapter you get all your knights get plus two plus one. If you're ever chaining these off, it's it's hard to lose that game. Also, the animation on this is gorgeous and the art's gorgeous, but like. This it's just hard to beat this mythic. Like this is the mythic you want in this deck, whether it's the Boros or the Mono White, or you, this is also like it, it it bleeds into like things like um uh Celestia tokens. Sometimes you'll see it play out of sideboards like Blue White Control, maybe even Jeskai. Who knows, right? But yeah, like this this is just insane. It pairs well with your Knight of Grace, self explanatory. These are the four cards I highly recommend you get play sets of because any kind of Mono White aggro deck or Boros aggro deck, it's gonna have these. This card's just absurd. So other than that, thank you guys so much for watching this video, everyone. It's been completely, it, it's been a, such a, a fun, fun video to make today. We've had some, some ups, you know, a lot of ups actually, mostly ups. We had insanely fast games where we just completely smashed our opponents and just went straight to value town. Uh, I, I love it when the, like the weenie decks can curve out and then just destroy them before they get to their late game plan. Fun deck. You know, and like especially in like best of one, you want to try to grind a ton of matchups. I think this is pretty good for that. And of of course, you know, like uh, the next video, I think we're gonna start moving into the two color decks, as I promised. So make sure you come back for all the two color decks, like the Merfolk one, the black red one, all of those. Can't wait to see you back here for next week's free to play fish. If you like the content, as always, make sure you leave a like, a subscribe. Uh, you know. Just, I, I love, I love making these videos for you. So thank you so much for watching again. Uh, this is your host, the Asian Avenger, signing out. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, help us out by clicking that like button down below. And to keep up on all the latest and greatest, click that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to get alerts whenever we have new videos. And if you want to, check out some of our other sweet videos here and here.